Hello everyone, it's Frances with your book of memories. Happy holidays. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited to share this Christmas folio with you. So let's bundle up with a cup of tea and let's flip through. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this quick project share. I am just so super excited about this one. I did use Christmas theme paper this time by Cartabella. So hello Christmas. We have cut aparts pages and a cardstock sticker sheet. It came together so simply and you know what? It only took one paper pack. So that's so exciting. This can make an excellent gift for the holidays and I'm just, I'm just so excited. So right here on the front cover, I do have a couple stickers from the sticker sheet. And as you saw in the intro, we do have this fantastic acetate and some iridescent accents right there. And I just thought that that was so super fun. If you've never made one of these before or even a mini album or folio, these are ones you can do. And I'm just, I'm unbelievably amazed. Right here is a front pocket, right on the front, okay? And we've got whatever you wanna put in there. I mean, you could stuff some pictures, tags, sentiments of your choice, and it just kinda has this little fun element on the back as well. So you can have your family pictures peeking in from the back like that, and you can do this up with all the different types of embellishments and use any themed paper that you want. So how fun is that? And I do have the entire class and I'll leave it as a link down in the description. This is called my window trifold folio and it just opens right up with a magnetic closure and I show you how to hide those magnets so they're nice and flush and that your project lays nice and flat. You can hold about maybe 35 plus photos in here and that just opens right up and let's start right here at the top first <laughs> and then we'll check out that cute little waterfall. So you have beautiful places for pictures right here and then you can tuck them behind. Okay, I leave all my little images open so a photo can slip behind there. And then this opens up right here and then you've got access to a pocket and all these little fun, cute Polaroid little cutouts. I just fussy cut this little guy out of the paper line, actually one of the cut aparts. And then I made my own little tag. You can journal about what you did where you're going or whatever it is that you guys are doing this holiday season. So this is so exciting. I've also got like a cute little booklet in here and I just stuck a little sticker right there. And there's the back. And the inside has a couple more stickers, places for pictures. Easy. And then we have this super cool angle pocket right here. It's, it adds like a really unique, awesome look to it, this book and it's just so much fun. <laughs> and as you can see, I kind of went crazy with my little chalk markers right there. And you could stick as many or as few inserts in these pockets as you'd like. Again, a couple more spots for photos right there. I love the little reindeer, oh my goodness. <laughs> this opens up again, and then you got this really cool file folder style acetate pocket. Right there, you can't miss the acetate. It's way too cute and shiny. And a couple more little tags. I just tied a little bit of crochet yarn at the top. Merry everything and happy always. Love this wreath paper in the back. Great places for a nice big four by six picture, no cropping necessary. We have an awesome little recipe card from the paper collection as well, and tons of journaling space in here. And you can customize how many tags you want in your book. You're the creator. And oh my goodness, look at that. You can even make one of those spots, a little journaling here, and maybe just a picture there. That's what I did on my last one. And I've only made this design one other time, this window trifold, and it's just so fun. We've got a couple little mittens and a couple presents right there. I fussy cut that right out of the cut aparts pages, these two images here. And I open that right up and real bills the back. Again, you could stuff pictures in here as well and that'll all kind of consolidate in there nicely. And I just kind of threw this loose guy in there. Oh my goodness, look how cute that flower paper is. Ah, I just, I can't believe it. And we're gonna go right down here at the bottom. And then you got this cute little waterfall. <laughs> This little band opens up. I got a little cluster of stickers right here. And then this actually has a little pocket so you can remove or add whatever photo or sentiment in there that you'd like. And then of course, waterfalls flip up. You guessed it. You can put pictures here or journal. Switch it up in any order you'd like. And if you've never actually had a chance for a class, I do post coupons. So if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can be notified of when a coupon comes out. You can grab your first class and also, if you want to know what my classes look like and 
how the teaching style flows. I'll be playing a class trailer right after this walkthrough. And oh my goodness, I had so much fun creating this. I wanna thank everyone for all your love and support. And I wouldn't be who I am today without all of you. And it's just so much fun. I mean, join the Facebook group if you haven't already. We have about 630 of us sharing amongst each other all the different YBM projects. And I'm just so super excited. So I can't wait to see your holiday projects and anything else it is that you're making. Peace, much love, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello my friend and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Window Trifold Folio Tutorial. I am so thrilled and excited to be here with you. The supplies I'll be using to create this cute little folio will be my scoreboard. I have some long sheer Tim Holtz scissors as well as the short ones and I'll show you what the use for that would be. I found this super cool chalk marker from the Dollar Tree so I'm going to go ahead and try it out and one to two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, this is also heavyweight. When we first met, so I absolutely love this paper line. I'm gonna go ahead and flip through it for you. Here's this design, and I love the floral on the back of that, looks like this. And the back of this beautiful cloud paper is this one. Let's get out our chipboard pieces. I'd like to first show you that there is a bendy side and a stiff side to chipboard. So I'm just going to go on one side of each chipboard piece because this is what's going to be stuck down onto our cover wrap and I'll come back and burnish those in a minute. And what we want is this to be nice and straight and this come down at an angle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and line up the 7 and 1 16th inch side along the top and again let's make it a pocket. Folding toward the bumpy side of every single score mark on every single one of these pieces I'm going to be on the mountain side right here. I'm going to have to flatten my piece down on the work surface. Let's focus on bottom right corner, right here. Should fit beautifully in between the edge of this flap and the score mark right there. Let's cut out our G's, two pieces, five inches by four and three quarters. So I'm just gonna continue stamping and putting them with their appropriate photo mats. And I'm gonna erase the pencil lines. Eighth of an inch border, I'm gonna go top right. And I'm gonna go an eighth between, fantastic. 